Training a dog to stop humping can be a bit challenging but is definitely doable with patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. Here's a step-by-step -step guide, redirect attention, redirecting your dog's attention when you catch them in the act of humping is an essential aspect of effectively managing this behavior. When you notice your dog engaging in humping behavior, it's crucial to intervene promptly and assertively. Begin by using a firm but gentle command such as no or stop to interrupt the behavior. This communicates to your dog that their current actions are not acceptable. It's important to deliver this command in a calm yet assertive tone to ensure that your dog understands you mean business without escalating the situation into a confrontation. Following the interruption, immediately redirect your dog's attention to something else. This could be a toy or a familiar command that they know well, such as sit or down. By redirecting their focus onto a different activity, you effectively disrupt the humping behavior and encourage them to engage in more appropriate behavior. Redirecting your dog's attention serves several purposes. Firstly, it helps to break the cycle of the unwanted behavior by providing an alternative outlet for their energy and attention. Secondly, it reinforces positive behavior patterns by rewarding them for complying with your command and engaging in a more desirable activity, distraction techniques. When dealing with a dog's humping behavior, it's essential to redirect their attention towards more appropriate activities. Distraction techniques can be incredibly effective in shifting your dog's focus away from humping and towards more constructive behaviors, Interactive play, engaging your dog in interactive play sessions, such as playing fetch or tug-of-war, can be a great way to distract them from humping. These activities not only provide physical exercise but also stimulate their mind, helping to channel their energy into positive outlets, outdoor exploration. Taking your dog for regular walks or hikes allows them to explore new environments and stimuli, which can be highly engaging and distracting. The sights, sounds, and smells of the outdoors can capture their interest and redirect their energy away from humping behavior. Obedience training. Incorporating obedience training sessions into your daily routine can provide mental stimulation for your dog while reinforcing positive behaviors. Teaching commands like sit, stay, and down not only helps improve their obedience but also redirects their focus whenever they start to exhibit unwanted behaviors like humping, puzzle toys, and treat dispensers. Providing your dog with puzzle toys or treat dispensers can keep them mentally engaged and occupied, preventing boredom-induced humping. These interactive toys require problem-solving skills and offer a rewarding challenge for your dog. Helping to distract them from inappropriate behaviors, social interaction, allowing your dog to interact with other dogs in a controlled and supervised setting can also serve as a distraction from humping. Playdates with other dogs or trips to the dog park provide opportunities for socialization and play, promoting healthy interactions that can redirect your dog's attention away from humping. By incorporating these distraction techniques into your dog's daily routine, you can effectively redirect their attention away from humping behavior towards more appropriate and fulfilling activities. Consistency and patience are key, so be sure to reward and reinforce positive behaviors while gently discouraging unwanted ones. Spay or neuter. If your dog is not already spayed or neutered, consider getting them fixed. This can help reduce hormonal behaviors like humping, provide sufficient exercise, ensuring that your dog receives ample physical and mental exercise on a daily basis is crucial for their overall well-being and behavior management. Regular exercise not only helps to maintain your dog's physical health but also stimulates their mind, providing necessary mental stimulation that can prevent boredom and behavioral issues, engaging your dog in activities such as walks, runs, or play sessions not only burns off excess energy but also provides an outlet for their natural instincts and behaviors. Additionally, incorporating interactive toys, puzzles, and training exercises can challenge their cognitive abilities and keep their minds sharp. A tired dog is generally more content and less likely to exhibit undesirable behaviors, such as humping, excessive barking, or destructive chewing. By prioritizing regular exercise and mental stimulation, you can help your dog lead a balanced and fulfilled life while also reducing the likelihood of behavioral problems. Remember to tailor the exercise routine to your dog's age, breed, and individual needs. Consulting with a veterinarian or professional dog trainer can help you develop a suitable exercise plan that meets your dog's requirements and enhances their overall quality of life. Positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is a fundamental principle in dog training that involves rewarding desired behaviors to encourage their repetition. When using positive reinforcement techniques, you provide your dog with something they enjoy, such as treats, verbal praise, or affection, immediately after they exhibit a behavior you want to encourage. This could include actions like sitting calmly, obeying commands, or engaging in appropriate play. For example, if you're teaching your dog to sit, you would offer them a treat or praise as soon as they lower their hindquarters to the ground. By consistently rewarding this behavior, 
your dog learns that sitting leads to positive outcomes, making them more likely to repeat the action in the future. Positive reinforcement works by tapping into your dog's natural desire to seek out pleasurable experiences and avoid unpleasant ones. When they receive a reward for performing a specific behavior, they associate that behavior with positive feelings and are motivated to do it again to receive more rewards. This method of training is not only effective but also fosters a strong bond between you and your dog based on trust, cooperation, and mutual respect. It focuses on encouraging good behavior rather than punishing unwanted behavior, creating a positive learning environment for your furry friend when using positive reinforcement. It's essential to be consistent and timely with your rewards. Timing is crucial because the reward needs to be closely linked to the desired behavior for your dog to make the connection. Additionally, be sure to use high-value rewards that your dog finds especially motivating, such as their favorite treats or enthusiastic praise. Positive reinforcement can be applied to a wide range of behaviors and training goals, from basic obedience commands to more complex tricks and behaviors. By incorporating this method into your training routine, you can help your dog develop good manners, learn new skills, and build a strong foundation for a happy and well-behaved companion, teach an alternative behavior. Teaching an alternative behavior involves redirecting your dog's attention from unwanted behaviors, like humping, towards a more acceptable action. Here's how you can do it, choose an alternative behavior, select a specific command or action that you want your dog to perform instead of humping. Common alternatives include go to your bed or leave it, Training consistency. Consistency is key. Use the chosen command every time your dog starts to hump or shows signs of wanting to hump. This repetition helps them associate the command with the desired action, positive reinforcement. When your dog follows the alternative command, reward them immediately with praise, treats, or a favorite toy. Positive reinforcement strengthens the connection between the desired behavior and the reward, making it more likely for your dog to repeat the behavior in the future. Practice regularly. Set aside dedicated training sessions to practice the alternative behavior commands. Consistent practice helps reinforce the behavior and ensures that your dog becomes proficient in responding to the commands even in distracting environments, patience, and persistence. Changing a dog's behavior takes time and patience. Be patient with your dog and remain consistent in your training efforts. Even if there are setbacks, continue practicing and reinforcing the alternative behavior by teaching your dog an alternative behavior and consistently practicing it. You can effectively redirect their focus away from humping towards a more appropriate action, limit exposure to triggers, to effectively address and manage humping behavior in your dog, it's essential to identify the triggers that provoke such actions. These triggers can vary from specific individuals, objects, or situations that elicit excitement or arousal in your dog. By understanding what these triggers are, you can take proactive steps to limit your dog's exposure to them. For instance, if you notice that your dog tends to hump certain people or other animals during playtime, consider supervising interactions more closely or even temporarily avoiding those individuals until you can address the behavior. Similarly, if there are particular objects or toys that seem to incite humping behavior, you might want to remove or limit access to them during times when the behavior is most likely to occur. Additionally, pay attention to the environments or situations in which humping behavior tends to occur more frequently. Whether it's during visits to the dog park, encounters with unfamiliar dogs, or when guests come over to your home, being aware of these situations allows you to be proactive in managing your dog's behavior. In some cases, it may be necessary to adjust your dog's routine or activities to minimize exposure to these triggering situations. By taking a proactive approach to identify and limit exposure to triggers, you can help your dog learn alternative behaviors and reduce the frequency of humping incidents. It's important to remember that addressing humping behavior requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement training techniques to encourage desired behaviors. Use deterrence in addressing the issue of humping behavior in dogs, employing deterrence can be an effective strategy. One commonly used deterrent is bitter apple spray, which can be applied to the objects or surfaces that the dog tends to hump. The bitter taste of the spray serves as a negative reinforcement, discouraging the dog from engaging in the behavior. When using bitter apple spray, it's important to apply it consistently to the specific areas where the dog exhibits the humping behavior. This may include furniture, toys, or other objects within the dog's environment. By consistently associating the unpleasant taste with the act of humping, the dog can learn to associate the behavior with a negative consequence, gradually reducing its appeal over time. It's essential to note that while deterrents like bitter apple spray can be effective for some dogs, they may not work for all individuals. Each dog is unique, and factors such as breed, temperament, and underlying reasons for the humping behavior can influence their response to deterrents. 
Additionally, it's important to use deterrence in conjunction with positive reinforcement training techniques to encourage desired behaviors and discourage unwanted ones effectively. Incorporating consistent training, exercise, and mental stimulation into the dog's routine can also help address underlying issues that may contribute to humping behavior. Consulting with a professional dog trainer or behaviorist can provide personalized guidance and support in developing a comprehensive behavior modification plan tailored to the individual needs of the dog. Consult a professional. If you find that your dog's humping behavior persists despite your best efforts to address it, it's time to consider seeking assistance from a professional. A certified dog trainer or behaviorist can offer invaluable expertise and personalized guidance to help you understand the underlying reasons behind the behavior and develop a targeted plan to address it. Professional trainers and behaviorists have extensive experience working with dogs of all breeds and temperaments, allowing them to tailor their approach to suit your dog's specific needs. They can conduct a thorough assessment of your dog's behavior, taking into account factors such as age, breed, environment, and any underlying medical issues that may be contributing to the humping behavior. Once they have identified the root cause of the behavior, they can work with you to implement a comprehensive training program designed to modify your dog's behavior effectively. This may involve teaching alternative behaviors to replace the humping, implementing management strategies to prevent the behavior from occurring, and addressing any underlying issues such as anxiety or socialization problems. In addition to providing practical training techniques, a professional trainer or behaviorist can also offer invaluable support and guidance to help you navigate the training process successfully. They can answer any questions you may have, offer reassurance and encouragement, and provide ongoing support as you work towards resolving the issue. Ultimately, consulting a professional is often the most effective way to address persistent humping behavior in dogs. By enlisting the help of a trained expert, you can gain valuable insights and support that will empower you to effectively manage your dog's behavior and strengthen your bond with them in the process. Remember, consistency is key when training your dog. Be patient and persistent, and don't get discouraged if progress is slow. With time and effort, you can help your dog overcome this behavior.